Okay, let's start at the beginning. The Hierophant. So it does look like you are having more and more faith in yourself and in the journey. And for many of you, it may be wandering back into church or wandering back into a meditation class. This usually the Hierophant shows up when we're taking our spiritual self a little bit more seriously, kind of nurturing the spiritual or the, our soul a little bit more than the, than the outside, the physical. So it does feel like you have incorporated a little bit more either of meditation or prayer. And for those of you that are walking in the atheist light, it's just honoring yourself a little bit more um, and knowing that we are here for a purpose and we are here for a reason. So it does feel like your faith in yourself, Sagittarius, is um, you've upped your havingness and your faith in yourself a little bit more. You're not questioning yourself and your actions as much as you are others. So what crosses you is it, it's like it does look like you have a whole bunch of things that you want to do. Uh, maybe one that you have decided to do. It is next to the travel. So you may have decided to travel. For those of you that are um, over 50, you may be looking at um, planning retirement. Uh, but this does look like you are redoing your future plans. So um, maybe you're going to start saving to buy a house or go back to school to um to do the job that you've always wanted to do instead of the ones you've had to do. So it does look like you're doing an, o an overhaul on um, your life. It, it looks like you've been doing it. Most of the signs have been doing that in general or ignoring it. Um, since the beginning of this year, this year has kind of dictated a lot of change and a lot of us looking at what we have created, what we can release, and what we want to create in the future. So this does look like more of a future card that you are really um, taking a look at the things that you would like to um, accomplish in your life. Not only work things, but pleasure things. So if it includes travel or building a house or moving to a country that you've always wanted to live in, those possibilities feel endless right now that you've really opened up um, your hopes and dream space and um, you've healed yourself. And it, this may even be on a physical level for some of you because I'm seeing a lot of the orangish color here. Um, and I'm feeling when I ask Spirit that you have done some healing work. So you may have had an operation, you may have had some physical therapy, you might have broken a bone, but it does look like things are coming into, um, they're, they're coming into clarity for you a little bit. But in general, it looks like, what do you want to be and what do you want to do when you grow up, no matter what your linear age is? It's time to embrace those wonderful dreams and hopes that you've wanted to do for a while and put on the back burner. It does look like you may have to allocate some money to do that. Um, but, you know, you're a fire sign. You guys really don't have any problem manifesting in the physical world once um you release what's standing in your way. So what is above you is the seven. This is the seven of cups. You know, cups are about emotions, but it does look like something grand and sweeping has happened over the last six to 12 months. So as I said, you may have an operation, you may have retired, you may have gotten a new job, you may have new, moved to a new city or planning on doing so. So this does look like you're redoing your bucket list. It is upside down. So it does look like everything you thought as a child or everything you put out in the world as a child you've already met and mastered or are not interested in again. So it does feel like starting over in a way, um, but in a positive way. You have grown and changed so much that you're really not the same person as you were even 10 years ago, sweet Sag. So it's now it's time to redo your hopes and dreams and desires. This right side up can also be the rose colored glasses card, um, not looking at things honestly kind of thing. But since it is upside down, it does look like you have been really looking at things honestly, looking at your part in the situation that, that you need to either apologize or change or, um, but you, you are looking at, at your own 
um, I don't want to say problems, but your own issues more honestly and embracing change. So it does really look like you've put down the ego in some things, um, and, but it's time to redo that bucket list and you are looking at things very honestly. Um, so I commend you for that, Sagittarius. That is a very difficult thing to do. So is put that ego down and look at the things that you contribute to uh, either negatively or positively. So what has happened in the near past is the 10. It looks like your plate is pretty full. It does look like um, there may have been some sorrows in the last month or so. Uh, there may be an extra workload for you or the juggle became very difficult for you. So it does feel like you've put some of that down. Um, this is in the position in the past. It is a 10. That is the completion of something. So it does look like fixing other people's problems or making other people's issues urgent in your world hasn't really worked for you in the past. So it does look like you've put down some of those things that just aren't yours to handle in the first place. And that um, I'm really feeling that some of my... Um, Older, over 50 Sagittarians are looking at either changing a job, uh, going to part-time, or retiring. So it does look like you're going to make a big life-sweeping change so you can get rid of some of these responsibilities that really aren't yours. Um, and you have to be honest with yourself. You know, if you um, offered it, people will accept it. So don't offer it anymore. Put, start making you a priority. Start making your plans and hopes and dreams for the future um, your number one priority. It doesn't mean, you know, be disrespectful to other people or not help other people at all. But please put yourself first. And then if you have any energy, money, or time left, then you can give it all away. <laughs> the two of cups is right here. So you have a couple of emotional things right here. Uh, this can be the lover's card. So there may be a new lover in your life. You, there may be the possibility. You may be opening up to the possibility of dating someone if you have been single for quite a while. Or you may have made um, a new commitment or a recom recommitted to your current partner. So this doesn't necessarily mean that... Um, it's only for the ones that are coupled or open to coupling. It can mean kind of reintroducing yourself and recommitting to yourself and the love of, of, of your life. Um, this medical insignia is lighting up for me. So it does feel like a lot of these changes have been propelled by a, um, a unplanned medical issue or something that caught up with you. It does feel like that is getting uh, balanced, uh, but, but in general, it does look like you are open and ready to receive love. However, that looks, whether it's a new love, whether it's uh, recommitting to your current love or actually releasing also is part of that releasing a love that is no longer working and that is toxic, but it does feel like, um, the new love card is here. So there is some focus on love. The three of wands is here. Um, looking out in the distance, this can dictate travel. This does look like you're lightening your load a bit so you can go off into the world. Um, for many of you, that may be, you know, selling a house, moving into an apartment, downsizing a bit, uh, making your life a little simpler so you can do the things that are much more important to you than paying bills and keeping a house <laughs> running, if that's the case. But it does look like you are making future plans for travel. It does feel like travel at a distance uh, over a large body of water, but it does require you to make some concessions to release maybe um, some activities that cost money so you can start saving for the future. And it does look like you are releasing some things entirely, some old habits. So maybe you're a smoker and you're putting that down and saving that money for travel. Maybe um, you had it a drug or alcohol problem, but it does look like you are now replacing, um, replacing, replacing, bad habits with future plans. 
something more positive and the energy is lightening a lot around you. It was pretty deep and dark in the past and see that yellow right here is really, really light. So it does look like you're lightening your load, you're lightening your responsibilities, only taking on projects that are necessary and really finding more um, passion and fun in your life. So the basis of all this is the Ace of Pentacles. These are the hands of God, and it does feel like uh, prioritizing money. Um, pentacles are about material things or money. And this, this Pentacle, I mean, this Ace is really about positive success and prosperity, new ideas. So don't be afraid to try something new, um, maybe even making money differently, maybe new investments. It could even be redoing your 401k or opening up a 401k, you know, maybe just saving for a little, little bit, but it does feel like you're going to um, get your money in order a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily mean a windfall, but it does look like maybe some bills have been paid off and you're able to see you know the light at the end of the tunnel kind of thing so it does feel like your money is a little less funny this month or it's getting clearer on how um, you will be living a, within your means um, but maybe a little bit more simpler a little more simpler so you can save for the big things also money card right here this is a six this is um it can be gifting people. It can be um, unexpected bills. But what I'm getting from Spirit is if you help someone financially, make sure they deserve it. Make sure that they're not just asking because they're used to asking. And that can include our family, our friends, our children. Um, but it does feel like someone who is asking you for something can is very capable of doing it. For themselves so it may be time to put the brakes on helping them it does feel like they're creating a situation over and over again um, to learn from so they will not learn it if you keep paying for things and if you keep helping them um, this does feel like someone who has formerly been dependent um, but it's kind of created this this really not healthy dependency on you financially. So no is a complete sentence with a capital N at the beginning of the uh, the sen uh, sentence, a period after the O. Uh, doesn't mean I don't love you. It just means that no, you're done. You're done. And it's time for you to allow them to fall on their face so they can pick themselves up. They don't know how to pick themselves up because it looks like you have been picking them up for quite a while. This is not a judgment, Sagittarius, but this does stand in the way of your greatness and your having this when you give your accomplishments, your money, and your time away to someone who doesn't deserve it. So the Queen of Wands is here. This may be that person. Um, maybe a female or a male. Um, wands are a fire sign. That's Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This may be you. This may be how this affects you. But it does um, feel that it is drawing this gifting of your time, money, and energy is standing in the way of your greatness and you are not able to invest time, money, and um, energy into you and into what you want to do. Um, it does feel like some priorities have already shifted. Some things have lightened up a little bit. It is right underneath the inheritance card. This can be the abundance, financial abundance, emotional abundance, but it is an abundance card. So you may be um, getting some kind of inheritance that you didn't know about. It does not necessarily mean it is money. Someone may give you Uncle Joe's old recliner. That is a physical thing. <laughs> so, but it is uh, it does look like you have opened your abundance levels up to start receiving, not just gifting. You are a big gifter, Sagittarius, but it's okay to receive too. And if it isn't reciprocal, if it's always one way or the other, then that is a relationship you need to let go of. That's the reminder here. You need to let go of your responsibility in, in their daily life. They need to be responsible for it. So the abundance card is at the top here. On one side is the hangman. On the other is the three of pentacles. Uh, the hangman, this is when you're looking at life 
completely different. It's the epiphany card. Um, the best analogy for that is if you're playing checkers and uh, the beginning of the game, you're the red men and halfway through the game, you switch that checkerboard around and you're the black men. It's the same game, but it looks really different. So this is here to tell me that your perspective has changed over the last year. And because your perspective has changed, your desires and hopes and dreams have changed as well. So it's the same life. It's how you are looking at it. And it does feel like you're going with the flow a little bit more. You're not trying to force your will, not being disappointed about expectations. You're just letting spirit show you the way a little bit more. So the hangman is here to remind you that you're doing a good job and um, continue with that different perspective and not getting so um, ignited by um, things people say or do. You know, it's none of our business what anybody thinks about us, really. It's only our business what we think and what spirit thinks of us. So there you go. The three of pentacles is here. This does feel like you have taken a step up in awareness of knowing that you are a spirit in a body. Uh, this may include meditating, praying, going to church, self-help books, or even a walk in the park for your better health. It doesn't necessarily have to be God stuff. Um, for me, I am a spiritual person, so it is God stuff. But for those walking in the atheist world, it's just taking a step up in your knowingness and allowing yourself to be um, the great being that you are, collecting information and having faith. This is kind of the faith, hope, the audacity of faith. Um, so it does look like your faith and your hope has taken a step up that you have kind of um, more faith in yourself. It does feel like you have more faith in yourself in the journey. So that is your general reading, Sweet Sagittarius, for the month of August. I'm going to throw a couple of these little cards. These were gifted to me. They are gypsy cards. And they're one-word cards. So we have a small foe. Okay, don't worry about what your enemies are doing. Don't worry about what people are talking about. As I said, this kind of validates it's none of our business what other people think about us. It's only our business what we think. So don't get engaged in somebody's negativity. It does feel like you have people around you that are very adversarial sometimes. That's their problem. You live in your light. You live in your greatness, sweet Sag. you got things to do. And there it is, hope. Have the audacity of hope in yourself and others and the journey. 